Hi, my name is Kathy Davis, better known as the Duchess on social media sites and on the web. As a professional music producer in the music industry, I desire to produce hit songs. I believe once you learn and understand music, you will be able to create any style you desire. I am also interested in commercial TV and movie audio production. I chose to do my topic of choice podcast on Rick Rubin. He was the co-founder of the legendary Def Jam label. He was also one of the key figures that commercialized hip hop. Rick Rubin lent his signature rap metal style to many of the biggest records of the pre-gangster era. He was born Frederick J. Rubin in Long Island, New York in 1963. Rick Rubin was attending New York University when he and Russell Simmons founded Def Jam in 1984. By 1985, Def Jam in- entered into a distribution deal with Columbia, and the label also produced its own rap movie, Crush Groove. Rick Rubin also produced Rain and Blood for the thrash band Slayer later that same year. Rap broke worldwide in 1986 from two landmark LPs, The Beastie Boys, License to Ill, and Run DMC's Raising Hell, both of which Ruben produced. A year later, he also produced Yo, Bum Rush the Show, the most pivotal act in hip-hop history. Public Enemy. That same year, he also made a hit with Electric by British rocker The Cult. Rick Rubin found his own label, Deaf America. The company signed Slayer, Andrew Dice Clay, The Ghetto Boys, and served as executive producer on public enemies it takes a nation of millions to hold us back he also did LL Cool J's walking with a panther and directed the run DMC movie tougher than leather in 1991 Deaf America scored one of its biggest hits yet with Sir mix a lots Mac Daddy, which launched Baby Got Back. That same year, Ruben produced The Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar, Sex Music. He also returned in 1993 with Mick Jagger's Wandering Spirit. His list of artists that he worked with inspired me the most. The impact that Rick Rubin has had on me as a listener and music industry professional is to be open to all types of music. He heard something new in rap music and worked from his college dorm room to bring it commercial. I'm also inspired by how he worked with different genres of music. I would love to be able to work with as many major artists as he has in his career. Thank you.